guys. I wanted to talk about uh, conditioning your dog to accept having a muzzle put on or a gentle leader, halty, head halter type um, device. So <clears throat> something that happens quite often is somebody will buy a gentle leader or a halty, they'll just slap it on and hope for the best. Don't you be upset. Don't you be upset. We're going to talk about you in a minute. <laughs> or they don't condition their dog to a muzzle. They just muzzle the dog when they go to the vet or when they go for a walk, if, if you need to muzzle your dog for that kind of thing. And then your dog only has the muzzle put on during stressful situations. So I want to talk about conditioning your dog to accept having a muzzle put on or a head halter put on and not only accept it, but <clears throat> to do it themselves to and put the device on themselves. So I always start with a cone. Hey buddy, there's cookies on the table. Oakley, <clears throat> I always start with a cone and I present it, yes. They put their face in it and I reach in, I say yes and I reach in my pocket and get them a treat. He's actually, I don't know that he's actually done this before so I'm pretty excited about that response. Typically, if they just sniff the outer rim, you would click and treat that or yes and treat that. Oakley, hey buddy, good boy, ready? Yes, good boy. So there's nothing in the cone. I don't bait the cone. A lot of people will bait the cone. They'll put something in the cone to encourage their dog to stick their face in it. And I don't want to do that. I want, yes, good job. There's nothing very exciting about this. And I want him to understand that if you put your face in something that's not very exciting, something good and exciting will actually happen. Yes. Good boy, good boy, ready? Yes, good job. This is also a really great confidence builder. So if you have a dog who's a little skittish, timid, shy, getting them to put their feet on objects that are kind of foreign, which is discussed in previous videos, and getting them to put their face, that was kind of weak, don't you think? Yes, and getting them to put their face into foreign objects Yes, all big confidence boosters. So even if your issue is just, yes, building confidence, you can do putting your face in a cone. Yes, if you don't have cones, a stadium cup is just fine. Yes, good job, good boy. So I wanted to do this with a dog that <laughs> may, may not be so good at it right off the bat so you can see how you get started. Yes, good girl. So just sniffing the cone. Let's get, you come here. We'll turn this way maybe. Yes, good girl. So just sniffing the cone gets a guess and a treat. Yes, good girl. You're doing that thing, that's funny. We're doing this now. Yes, good girl. I can take it away. And we present it. I'll take it away. And I'll represent it. Yes, good job, good job. This is a new exercise. I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> Yes, good girl. So even some proximity to the cone is good. Yes, very good. Now I have criteria. Sniffing here is not okay. I really want them to focus on the entrance of the cone so that when it's the entrance of the muzzle, we have our criteria clear. No, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> I'll take it away and I'll represent it. She's trying to do a different trick. Yes, good job, good girl. So once you've progressed to them really wanting to put their face in a cone, yes, very good. And let's say maybe some duration where they'll hold it, their face in the cone until you say why yes. Yes, very good, you see, I don't know if the camera picked up on that. That was so good, that was so good. We're gonna turn just a little bit. Yes, good. I'm just try to scoot her back. We're kind of crouching on that camera. 
Yes, very good. So she really held her face in there waiting for um, the release, which is yes, yes means what you did is correct and food is coming so that she can cease what she's doing to access her, her reward, which is food. So once you've got that, then we can do the muzzle and I actually call it muzzle. So uh, muzzle, yes, very good. And then she'll gladly stick her face in something different uh, than a cone or a cup because we've done so much work with it. Muzzle, yes, very good. Now, what we've never done before is ask her to put her head in a halter. Yes, so I'll yes and treat her for sniffing the halter. Over here, girl. That's a good start, hello. <laughs> yes, very good. Oh my gosh, I just don't know if the camera saw that. Turn it away that you can see her, not me, maybe. Can you come over here, please? Yes. Very good. Oh, there's a cookie over here we missed. So she's already stuck her face in the halter beautifully, so I'm not going to accept something less. Why do you want to gravitate that way? looking for food still? Hey. Vision. Yes, very good. I don't know what she's looking for, but <laughs> we do one more. So just like the cone, sniffing the buckle is no longer good enough. She's already stuck her face right in it. Yes, very good. So a lot of people will get their halter and either just slap it on and hope for the best, or they'll lure their dog's nose through it. And either way, then it's not the dog's choice. I really want them confident enough to put their face in a muzzle. Yes. Or a halter. Yes, very good. And it's her choice. It's completely her choice. And so that we're taking some of the stress out of it. So this is conditioning your dog to a muzzle or a head halter and building confidence. Oh,